Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Season 6 MP balance changes. I usually don't do this type of video, but there is changes to shotguns, so we're going to talk about it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to start off, do a quick overview of everything that's getting buffed. I really don't care too much about these, but we'll kind of go through it more or less. So we'll go like left to right, so that I don't have to scroll back up. Anyway, we got the ASM10, improved reload speed, whatever, decreased flinch, whatever, improved movement speed and ADS move speed. That's kind of cool. I uh, don't know how great it is. We'll see. Mana War, very similar, I guess. Increased movement and ADS movement. ADS is time reduce. That's actually pretty good. 40, that's like almost a 15% rage. RTC suppressor seems to have been buffed. So instead of 22% reduce, it's only 16. I know I, I kind of skipped, but HG40. Kind of excited for this one. Don't know if it's crazy buff. It's still going to be a four tap and the multiplier to the head is 1.5. So it's kind of crazy, but we'll see. But as you guys can see, uh, from 26, 24, 20, 17 to 29, 25, 20, and 17. So a uh, huge buff to the close range. And uh, they increased the four tap range, which is going to be really useful. That's I think that's really important. That might be uh, a good alternative to like those, you know, people who like to use AR SMGs. This could be a good one. And the range change from 10, 15, 25 to 10, 10. Okay, it's not really the huge buff to that, but the headshot multiplier, whatever. Cordite. This is going to be, I think, one of those guns that's going to be huge. I was literally playing with this the other day, and I was saying that main complaint is that it doesn't have a great four tap range. However, with the multipliers to the chest, as well as the arms to 1.2 and 1.1, means that it's going to have a better time to kill, especially when it comes to those four tap range. Basically, you like five tap most of the time, but with this, you have more chance of getting four taps, which makes it more consistent, which I like. It still beams a long range, so that's actually pretty useful. Now, we're going to check out the Odin. Uh, we do have the Odin buff here. Base mag increase from 2025. 20, I love that. Reload speed. That's good too. Improved movement speed and ADS movement. Whatever. It doesn't matter. ADS time reduce. So same thing about 15% buff. And the Colossal Suppressor. I don't think most people are using it. I use it. So that's going to help me out. We also have the Cuckoo 9. That's going to be upper chest multiplier improved from 1 to 1.1. 1 .1, so even better. Hip fire accuracy improved by 10% and decreased flinch. So the Cuckoo 9, which I think was already pretty solid, got buffed even more. Cool. PPSH horizontal recoil. So that's a really good. Nice buff there. And then we have the AGR leg multiplier improved from 0 0.9 to 1. That's actually useful. Movement speed improved by 1. That's okay. ADS movement speed increased by 4. Improved bullet spread. This is good. The 30 and 60 round mag, the 556. Uh, ammo conversion. Chest multipliers improved. So I don't know if that's going to change much because it's still going to be a 4 tap, but whatever. And the Razorbacks, it has also the multipliers from arm and chest from 1 to 1.1. Reduce recoil bullet spread. Okay. We went through this a little quick overview of the guns. What do I think is going to be really good here? I think probably the Cordite, maybe the AGR, but beside that, QQ9 is already good, so we have that buff. Shotguns. Oh, wait, no, not yet. Yes, half shotguns. So we talk about the non shotguns first. We got DRH, headshot multiplier from 1.2 to 1.3, arm multiplier from 1 to 1.15. So I feel like it's going to more consistently three tap. So that's going to be really good. But the damage get adjusted. Let's see. How did that change? Same, same, same. A uh, little nerf and then buff at that long range. So I don't know if that's going to be crazy. But the range buff, does it change? Uh, it's got slightly more mid range. So that's kind of good. And the long range is about the same. But it's nothing crazy. BR change as well. Can. I like that gun as well. Sprint to fire delay reduced. That's eh, not that much. 15% um, is a lot. Arm multipliers. They're adding arm multipliers. So that's kind of cool. Tactical reload improve. That's good. Full reload improve. All right. Just a reload. Nothing crazy. Okay. Same thing, I believe. Okay. QQ9, the Bison, AG4, Chicken, SKS, ASMT, Manowar, RPD. Reduce intensity of fire animation. So just the animation. I guess it's the, the wiggle. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's going to be kind of annoying, I feel like. All weapons swap faster, excluding Rytek and Shorty. So that's good. All weapon swaps, you can swap to your knife even faster. So I'm going to see all those people sniping and switching knife. That's going to be really good for them. All right. This is what I guess the video is about. The shotguns. Uh, this is the first time in a long time we've had shotguns in the patch notes. I feel like the last time we had something was... I know we had like the movement buff, but that's nothing crazy. But I think it's going to be low-key a buff. But we'll see. I think the KRM is going to be the best shotgun in the game, and I'll explain in a second. But you can see the main changes to the shotguns is they increase the number of pellets, but reduce the damage at all ranges. And that will go for the KRM, BY15, Shorty, and HSO. Um, there was also a, a buff to the other shotgun, but I'm guessing it's on the other page. I'm hoping it's on the other page. But as you guys can see, the KRM, the damage that didn't change much is in that medium range. I don't remember exactly the ranges, but it went from 36 to 25, 24 to 23, keep that in mind, 24 to 23, 22 to 15 and 11. And the fact that it has 12 pellets, 
means that the damage is approximately the same. Um, I think it actually deals more damage because there's more pellets. However, in that medium range with the KRM, the fact that that's 23, which is substantially more than most of the other shotguns, mean that low key, this as an ADS red shotgun, you might consistently one tap people at that 10 to 15 meter. Don't quote me on this. We don't know the numbers exactly, but it feels like the KRM might be the best shotgun, which kind of sucks because KRM meta was very toxic to go up against. Uh, Garena people are gonna love this. Hopefully this is for Garena as well. But that's what I feel like. Even the hit fire might be still very solid, especially when you can hit somebody at that 10 rear, depending on the shotgun spread. We will find out in the future whether or not it's gonna be good. BY-15, that is a, a nerf, I guess. The damage got substantially worse than the KRM. It does have tighter bullet spread. Again, the damage overall is more because you get, I think it's a, a what's the math of this a 50 percent increase in 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 number of bullets or pellets but the damage is less than 50 percent decrease so we'll see how that's affect i think the by 15 is not gonna be as good as before unless you're super accurate it really depends on the bullet spread accuracy shorty i really don't care too much about the shorty but a lot of people who, who use it so they make it shoot faster i guess but the pellets only increased by one but the damage did kind of decrease substantially so i feel like that's pretty good nerf especially that close range that's what i meant uh yeah and the hso uh it's actually kind of significant it's also still a 50 percent boost so from 10 to 15 and the damage pellet uh the damage nerf so i don't know how to feel about the hso because it used to have a lot of damage but uh, i think the ads speed is still very slow in my opinion so karim still probably gonna be in the top and the best part in my opinion the hs2126 buff that's what we're talking about i've been waiting for this buff for years all right so first of all may not seem like much okay but the damage per pellet changes from 15 to from 15 to 16 okay 12 to 13 okay the nine and then the eight now the range improvement that's the best part from <laughs> This is so bad. Zero to three meters, that's gonna stay the same, but three to five turns to three to seven, and then five to nine turns to seven to 12. Now, we'll see how this gets affected with the bird shot. So the bird shot might be really cool because we might actually have, I think it used to, I think 15 divided by two rounded down, 100% sure. You get double the bullets. But we'll see. I, I love the bird. I love the bird shots and I love the HS2126. So that's cool. Jack 12, nothing really crazy in my opinion. Uh, from eight, it increased by one per shot. I don't think that's going to change much. Reactor core, kind of a huge buff actually, to be honest. 50% buff range. Tac 5, that's a pretty huge buff too, from 50 to 70. Uh, it's going to most of the time take away three shots compared to some two shots. So two, three. So most of the time it's gonna take three, maybe four shots depending on gun in the range. That's pretty good. SVD, K9 unit, kinetic armor, and purifier nerfs. I uh, love to see that. Kinetic 150 to 100, that's pretty good. Might be nerfed enough, but I still probably will run it. But those are the buffs. Oh, and again, I forgot to mention this, but uh, this is all from uh, Leakers on Duty. It's already mentioned. It's written all on, on, on it. You can see it all around. But um, anyway, guys. That's going to be a little short video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, especially about shotguns. I think the KRM is going to be really good. Beside that, I don't know about the other guns. We're going to have to test it out, but it feels like the KRM is going to be absolutely fantastic. All right, see you guys next time. Peace.